everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante and welcome to Food Deconstructed. On this episode, we'll be deconstructing the comfort food staple, chicken pot pie. But this recipe is gonna be just a little bit different as the vegetarian chicken pot pie stickers. Now I know what you're thinking, how can you make a chicken pot pie without the chicken? It's crazy, right? I promise you, this chicken free riff on the pot pie is gonna be so delicious and meaty, you won't even miss the chicken. Now the first thing we're gonna do is make our filling. Now the ingredients for our filling are gonna be our carrots, our cabbage, some portobello mushroom, some frozen peas, white onion, some garlic, and some chicken free base. Now, the first thing we're gonna use is the portobello mushroom. Dice these up, put these mushrooms in our pan here, and caramelize them up a bit. We add a little extra virgin olive oil to our pan. We're gonna take these, throw them in here. Share a little sizzle. If you need to put a little more oil on it, feel free, as mushrooms do soak up oil like crazy. So next up is we're gonna dice up just a little bit more carrot here. We're also gonna dice up a half of a white onion. A white onion, it's diced up. You can also mince your garlic up for this recipe as well, but I like the garlic press just because it takes away from some of the mess that you create by having to chop and mince everything. Mix that around, make sure it's just, that garlic kind of coats most of our vegetables that we have in there. Now we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and let everything kind of come together and heat up a little bit more, and then we're gonna add a couple more things. I'm gonna add our cup of shredded cabbage, a cup of frozen peas. Now we're gonna cook these two items up in here until you see that the peas are starting to thaw out a little bit. It shouldn't take much time at all. What we're gonna add next and last is our vegetarian chicken base. We're gonna use about one and a half teaspoons of this. I'm trying to get that base over all our vegetables. Give that chicken flavor. I'm gonna set this aside. Now we're gonna use the same pan to make the next step, which is our gravy. Now, our ingredients for the gravy are gonna be another half of a diced onion, two tablespoons of butter, some vegetable stock, some garlic powder, some soy sauce, and some flour. Now the first thing we're gonna throw in here is two tablespoons of butter, along with our onions. Now the reason we're using the same pan is we're actually gonna be deglazing the pan. Now deglazing the pan is just basically diluting the sediments that are already originally in the pan with some liquid, which in this case is gonna be some vegetable stock, and just creating that flavor for our gravy or the base for our gravy. So mix these around, and as always, I cook these onions until they're nice and translucent or clear. Who doesn't love the smell of onions and butter? Our next step is gonna be adding the flour. Now, by adding the flour and the butter together, we're gonna to be creating what they call a roux, R-O-U-X. Now, a roux is just adding flour to some sort of fat, which in this case is butter to help create a thickness for our gravy. Mix this around, and you're gonna mix it until it gets nice and tasty. All right, now next up, we're gonna add our vegetable stock. Again, mixing it around. While that's going, you're also gonna add your cup of cream. Again, mixing it up, stirring it up until it starts to thicken. Then we're gonna add some of our spices. It's got that normal gravy smell. People get a little worried when you start talking vegetarian but I guarantee if I brought somebody in here that had no idea this was a vegetarian dish, they would immediately think that this is a, a chicken-based gravy almost. We're gonna add some soy sauce, two tablespoons to be exact, a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. Keep mixing that up. is we're gonna use a pot sticker or a wonton wrapper. Did you wanna just put a little bit of the filling in the center of the wrapper? Now the reason you only wanna put a little bit is you don't want any of it seeping out. If you're not really accustomed to making these, uh, they kinda of fall apart on you a little bit in the beginning once before you get the hang of it. It's gonna bring a little bit of water in and it's gonna dab it around the edges here. Fold it over. A little wonton. Get our pan ready. We're gonna put two 
tablespoons of butter, as well as some vegetable oil. So you put the vegetable oil on there. What that's going to do is going to create that nice golden brown and crispiness. You're going to see some bubbles start coming up around from the pot stickers. And these are getting nice and brown on one side, so we're going to flip them over so you can get an even coat to them. All right, and these look to be just about done. Now, let's bring back in our gravy. Garnishment off the side, make it a little prettier. Here. Here we go, guys. Vegetarian chicken pot pie stickers. All right, let's see how good these taste, or hopefully taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again. We're trying to deconstruct the pot pie. So you have the crunchiness of the, the crust of a pot pie normally coming from the, the wrapper. The inside is that great vegetable mixture of carrots and peas and onions. And you also get that meaty taste that we were hoping for from the mushrooms. And then that gravy we made, you would have no idea that it's not chicken based. It's nice and thick and hearty. It has tons of flavor coming out of it. There you go, vegetarian chicken pot pie stickers. There you go. Stay tuned for our next episode where we chicken and waffles, pot pie style.